Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and today we are back in Spin Tires Mud Runner. I'm actually back from my trip now, uh, which is really good because I really wanted to get back and, and play more of this game and you guys seem to really be loving it so I'm going to keep giving you guys uh, more of it because um, I really enjoy playing it and I'll also be giving you guys more of the PC version uh, coming later this week and over the weekend. You'll get a mixture, actually a pretty balanced mixture of Xbox One and PC uh, on Mud Runner. So we're going to go back into challenges. We've got another challenge uh, ready for us, which is visit grandma, and I don't really know how this challenge works. It says drive a light vehicle through a muddy road. Sounds pretty easy to me. Um, bonus objectives are attend the challenge at night, don't use the winch, and never release the gas while driving. So we're going to try it and see how it works. Um, see how we're Oh my god! It's a car! It's not a... It, it's not like a truck. It's a car. That's different. All right, let's see. Use cruise control to accelerate. Ooh. All right. 10 challenge at night. And then... So what is... Cruise control? Hold left stick for cruise control. Oh, you know what? You know what? I just remembered. Because of my controller, my because of my controller, my left stick is, is like screwy so we will figure that part out later but uh we'll figure that part out later but uh we'll see what uh what ends up happening in the meantime i'm still gonna just keep the throttle floored so like the whole time oh god this is already kind of getting tense because i have no no clue how this is gonna i love the car freaking car freshener that's amazing I'm going to go around the mud because we have no diff lock. We have nothing of the sort. We have no all-wheel drive. We're literally taking a one-wheel peeler down a muddy, mucky dirt road, which is usually not the best of ideas. How far away is Grandma's house anyway? I don't know. These are things you need to tell me before we set off, game. <laughs> All right, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, there we go. See, I don't know if the cruise control has to be on, um, or if you can just, like, leave your leave the throttle down completely the whole time. I guess we'll find out, but, like, because I haven't lifted this whole time. I have not lifted. I have been full throttle 100 freaking percent. So we're going to keep it going and see if it'll let us, you know, do it that way. What is this, like, a Lada or something? I don't know Russian cars. It ba they baffle me. I don't know Russian cars. Somebody in the comments tell me what this is. I, 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 I wonder... It's like it might be a Lada, but I literally have no clue. We're going to want to go around the left here, it looks like. Going through a slightly, like, a little bit of a, like, a rundown village type deal. It went back to first. Oh, God. The lighting just got really, 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 really weird. Really weird. Probably because we're... Oh, no. Oh, no. Well. We screwed ourselves on that one. Yep, the car's stuck. And we either have... We have... Okay. The option I'm going to choose is to restart. The option I'm going to choose is to restart. So, let's see. Switch to night. And let's do this. I'm just going to try and follow somewhat of the same route I did last time and hope that it works and avoid that area by the uh, the power pole because I think what we did was got snagged on a rock, if I'm not mistaken. I think we just got snagged on a rock and it was just like, sorry, uh, you're done, sir. <laughs> if we get stuck again, I think what we'll do is if we get stuck one more time... I'll, I'll give us one more restart, and then after that, if we keep getting stuck, I'm going to use the winch. Because I'm not going to, like, you know, spend forever on one challenge. Because we are close to finishing, you know, this section of the challenge series. We're going to go around the right here, I believe, because that's the way we went last time. Oh, come on. It still feels really weird driving something like this through a muddy, mucky spin tires map. Especially, like, playing spin tires and seeing the... Seeing the interface with, like, a car. And the fact that you can't lock the diff. You can't put all-wheel drive on because there isn't, there isn't any of either. 
Alright, let's get back to the right here real quick. Oh, carry on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. God, imagine if this was, like, your your average, you know, commute to go and see, like, a relative or something. <laughs> and, and you didn't have all-wheel drive. You didn't, you know, didn't have an off-road vehicle. And this was still, like, you know, your I'm-going-to-see-family commute. It's just mad. Just mental. Yeah, it turns out going straight through the water was by far the better option. By far. All right, let's see. Oh, God. Did not mean to... Okay, does that... Oh, never release acceleration mode. Really? Because I accidentally went into advanced mode? Okay, that's... That, that's... That's... I feel like that's kind of a load of crap, but still, like, I get why they say... I get why they say it, but at the same time, I still feel like that's kind of crappy. But we can come back and, like... We can come back and, and you know, and do this challenge again later. We're still going to get the other... Uh, still going to get the other two. The, the don't use the winch... And, um, and do the challenge at night. Like, how much... Wow, how much further we got? Oh my god, the screen gets dark whenever you get close to any light. That is nuts. Oh, don't you dare get stuck. Okay, I was like, come on. Not here. Not now. Not in the, like, also the darkest freaking part of the map. It's scary out here. Like, it's super scary out here. I'm just thought there we go, we get our light back. Oh my god, it's getting so muddy. I'm legit getting nervous for this car now. Oh, 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 there we go. Oh, I see it. I see grandma's house. We're almost there. We're almost there. Our car is covered in mud and it looks like it's been through a battle and a war zone, but I think we can make it. Well, frankly, I know we can make it. We just have to take the right line. Just about to pull up to her driveway. I wonder what I'm, I wonder what the whole point of this little trip to Grandma's house was. Yo, Grandma, you got like a massive puddle in your front yard. You got a little bit, a little bit of like a drainage problem there. <laughs> All right, now we got to park, and we should be good. As we all know, Grandma's super picky about where people park in her in her yard. There we go. We did it. Okay, so two stars. Not too bad. I feel like we were kind of cheated out of the third star, but it is what it is on that one. Uh, Challenge-wise, our next one is Cross a River. And, like, to be fair, most of these have a bonus objective of attending the challenge at night. Uh, this is attend the challenge at night, don't use the winch, and reach the destination with attached garage trailer. Find a route across a wide river with a heavy vehicle. Okay. I feel like I kind of want to do this in the daytime. Oh, we get oh we get the huge 8x8. Oh, damn. Full of water, too. Uh, we can do this challenge again at night later. Like, I want to actually see this in the daytime. Diff is always locked. Always locked. And where is... Oh, that's the garage trip. Really? Really? I'm still not used to that being the garage trailer. Alright, let's go ahead and get that thing hooked up. Oh. There we go. Need to move closer. Alright, let me look behind. Let's see if it'll do it now. No. No. Need to, oh my god, okay, it wants us to reposition. I was concerned about that. I was, I was worried it was, it was wanting to have a, or it would want to have us reposition. This should be better. There we go, back it up slowly. Okay, that should work. If that doesn't work, I'll be very surprised. Move closer! What in the, okay, closer still! Okay, what is it, like, oh, okay, so I see where the hook is, but, like, man, that's the pickiest one I've seen yet. Like, that trailer is super picky. Jeez. I don't understand how a trailer can be that picky. Like, what the? 
I'm literally centered, or I was. I was pretty close. Okay, that's almost directly over it. There we go. So we're attached. We're good. We can move out. All right, let's do this. Oh my god, this thing does not have brilliant visibility. Oh, damn. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't expect it to have brilliant visibility because it's got a split cab. But still, all right. So let's look at the map. We need a... Whoa. Oh my god, this one might be a little tricky. This one might actually be really, really, really hard. Alright, well, let's try not to, uh, die, and let's see where we could go. Dude, we're still in automatic mode, like, third gear just chugging. Oh, wow, wow. The second I say that, it's like, hey, bro, uh, how'd you like to go back to first, bro? Yo, what's happening? What the heck is happening? Why is my truck all twisted up? Okay, we're good now then. That's weird. Truck got all twisted up for a second. It was like almost like there was a hidden rock or something. I see some resemblance of, of a road though. Well, actually I see... Oh god, I see a resemblance of a road that splits. That's even more sketchy. Uh... I'm... Hmm. God, I don't know. I'm gonna take a gamble and go right. May or may not be the right way to go. <laughs> it's like, we turned right? Wrong. <laughs> Proceed slowly. If you start sinking, reverse and find another way. Well, we're not sinking yet, so... I'm, I'm thinking it's like kind of going off the idea of the objective is in this direction so maybe like maybe logically we this would be the right way to go but at the end of the day though spin tires does like to be kind of weird sometimes about that and it can be really strange like it can be really really strange so um for all intents and purposes we're pointed the right way uh we just got to get across so are those so those must be depth markers Oh, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. So maybe if we go straight here, we'll be okay. Because if that's the case, if those are depth markers, that might actually be really useful for us. Let me check again. Yeah, those are, I think, those are like depth markers. That is pretty legit. So it'll tell you uh, where the, oh God. It'll tell you where, like, you know, the deepest parts of, uh, of the river are. Making decent progress, too. Okay. God, you'd be getting some water in the cab at this point. It would not be pretty or pleasant. It's weird. Like, when you look at it from the side, you feel like you're not actually going anywhere. Like, but then when you look at it from, you know, the map view, you realize you have, like, gone a certain distance. It's weird. All right, let's check this again. Uh, we're gonna want to... It looks like we'll be able to go a little bit further forward and then cut to the right. Oh, God. Okay, that was only, that was only temporary. Okay. I got freaked out for a second. I was like, please do not let that be a thing. Freaking engine in this truck is so massive, though. So massive. Oh, my God, that trailer is leaning like mad absolutely mad all right let's give a little bit of a right turn now try and shift this beast over to the right and then check the map again oh the problem is going to be we're going to be going against the current oh that's going to freaking suck we may not be able to do that we may have to just go straight yeah um you know what let's just go straight we are not going to be able to uh fight against that current that current is just so uh, is so strong. We're, whoa, 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 whoa! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Alright, we're alright. Woo! Are we actually advancing forward? Yes, we are. Jeez, that trailer is getting pushed so hard by the current of the river. God, it's not even funny. But we are getting closer. 
We're getting there. We're getting closer. Check the objective. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, the tide is moving us. Oh, this is bad. This is really, really, really bad. Problem is, if, if you lose momentum and the current takes you... Oh, this is not good. Reverse immediately. What do you mean reverse immediately? I did reverse. Oh, God. Okay, we're going to have to restart that one. You know, now I'm actually really glad that we didn't do that at night. I'm, I think it's uh, probably for the best, actually, that we didn't do that at night. I feel like it'd be so crazy at night. Like, oh, my God. God, that would be a crazy challenge at night. I feel like that would almost have to be like... Well, if you found the way during the day, it'd probably be okay. If you had never done it before and were just like straight up, I'm gonna do it at night, then I'd be like, holy hell, you madman. You know, that would just be absolute... Like, dude, you'd be an absolute maniac. So I have a general idea of where I want to go, but not completely... Uh, let's just go, let's take the, let's still take the upper route, but try to kind of modify it a little bit, if that makes any sense. If that makes any sense, I'm not sure if it does or not. And see, the other thing is, you could, like, you could look to see if the, um, you could look to see whether or not it was like, you know, deep or not on the map, but at the same time, it doesn't tell you how strong the current is. So it could be shallow, but still, like, a raging, raging river. Regardless of that, no matter, let's do this. Still on track, still on track. We are going to absolutely attack the crap out of this river. This river isn't going to know what hit it. Well, it's going to know it was hit by an 8x8, but it doesn't know what for. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, God. All right. Map check and depth check. You know what, actually? I can't believe I didn't think of this before. Stay near the shore. Go up. Go north. Avoid the strong currents out in the middle. That makes total sense. We can use that island, too, because according to the map, it looks like it's not too deep over there. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. That makes more sense than any of the other options I've tried. So, like, why not do that? Seriously, though. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Close to that edge. The current, you can see, I mean, it does get strong out in the middle. It really does. gonna have to look at the map for a second so it's deep to the left I think I know a good way I think I know a good way I'm pretty well sorted on this now I think I know a good way to do it let's go the Ooh, that's a little sketchy maybe back to the right and stay back to the right a little bit. But I can see the bottom here. Like, you can see the bottom of the water, which is always a good, like... You can see the bottom of the river, which is always a good sign, because that usually means if you can see the bottom, that means you should be able to drive through it without even getting your cab underwater. May have spoken too soon on the cab, but it's okay. <laughs> Alright, if we just stay... If we just go straight, maybe a little bit right, and then straight, we should be able to make it across. I say that as water damages the truck. But no matter. <laughs> God, water the, the water just wants to float that trailer away. If we disconnected it right now, it would so just float away. We're doing pretty well with the tr like with the truck though. It gets a little deep here, but once we get it to that island, we should be able to just drive over the island. And then drive through another, like, like, not quite as wide body of water. And get to the objective. No big deal. No problem. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's getting sketch. Not anymore, though. 
Ooh, this is sketchy. This is mega sketchy. Just a little further on. Little further on now. Little further on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There she goes. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes, my friend. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna use this island to our advantage. Just gonna drive over to the other side. And these dead trees, we should be able to just push over. Yeah. The dead trees literally stand in the way of pretty much nothing. I see a building. Is that where we're meant to go? I feel like it probably is where we're meant to go. Check the map. That looks plenty shallow enough to drive through. And that also, you know what? That also kind of follows the path of where you would expect the road to be. So, it looks, it looks pretty promising. Let's do it! This truck is so huge. I want to, like, drive one of these at least once, you know, in real life, just to see what they're like to drive. And the crazy part is, like, I know where one is. I just don't know. I, I, I would just feel super, super weird about, like, trying to figure out who owns it and then being like, hey, can I drive it and make, like, you know, a video for the YouTubes? <laughs> for, like, real-life spin tires, bro. Just, just, just get rid of the GTI and buy, buy one of these as a daily. That would be, that would be ridiculous. That would be crazy. Can you imagine, like, dailying one of these? Forget parking. Forget parking anywhere. But regardless, we have just made the crossing. I feel like that wouldn't actually be too bad at night. I feel like we can, you know, we, we should be able to do it at night. Uh, that shouldn't be that big of a deal. Nearly there. And drop off point. Woo! Alright, that's two out of three. That's fine. We can go back and do the night some other time. Now we've got one last challenge on the Xbox One version, and that is the Expedition. So make sure you guys come back in the next episode, and we'll, we'll, we will do that challenge. Uh, you guys will see it completely unfold. We'll talk to you guys next time. Hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comments below what you thought of it, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more Spin Tires Mud Runner, as well as new games coming very soon, um, as well as some other racing games. And if you guys enjoy it, then don't forget to come back next time. See y'all later.